So thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your background? Like how did you become involved in the role that you're in today? Okay, so uh, I started basically a long time ago as a developer, a few startup companies in Israel, uh, later on moved to uh, bigger companies like Converse, etc. Uh, my first introduction to online gaming was with a company called Mansion. Uh, when I started there, again from uh, like development, uh, I was there for about 11 years. Uh, grew up to be uh, director of uh, all the R and D uh, and managing director of the uh, Bulgarian branch, uh, which I was I relocated to Bulgaria to establish it uh, and so on. And um, then. About almost two years, year and eight months ago, I joined uh, Dela Sport uh, and took this challenge uh, to, to grow with this company and take it to the next level. Uh, we established this office uh, in Sofia, uh, and uh, here we are. And for those that don't know, like, can you just tell us a little bit about what your role at Dela Sport involves? Kind of like, what's your day to day? Kind of standard activity. Okay, so uh, as VPRND, uh, I'm basically responsible for all the development lifecycle uh, to make sure that it's running uh, smoothly end to end, um, building the technical roadmap together with the boards according to the business needs and the, the company vision, um, making sure that we have the right people, uh, skilled people to. Um, execute and make it happen uh, to, to bring this roadmap to life. Uh, supporting the team, making sure that they have everything they need uh, to develop high quality, robust, uh, stable applications. Um, implement processes, procedures uh, for efficient development. Uh, we, we're working with uh, Scrum, Agile, uh, so helping the teams and making sure everything is running smoothly. Um, making sure that delivery is uh, on time and in the best way in the shortest time to market. Um, and um, researching new technologies, uh, see what's new on the market, what's uh, uh, new out there in matter of new technologies, new frameworks, uh, things that can enable our business. Um, I guess this is in high level, <laughs> probably some few other <laughs> I mean, like, I know, I know, like, um, R and D is kind of quite a big focus for kind of the gaming industry at the minute. So, can you walk us through like the R and D process at Dallas Sport? Like, what would be your typical process? Um, okay, so the, the process in general starts um, with the company vision and the company targets. When we have, uh, you know, the board meeting, when we set up the. Uh, where we want to be, what are the, the main, uh, what is the vision, what is the main initiative that we want to, to achieve. Uh, based on that, uh, we, we take those, this vision and goals and break it down into initiative projects. Uh, each area product has its own product owner and business owners that they sit together and uh, break it down into initiatives and prioritizing them. Um, after that, uh, basically the goal is uh, the, the product owner builds for me the backlog and prioritize it, slice it down together with the teams, start introducing it to the team, to the, they start doing technical design, some proof of concept if needed, uh, to see which technology to use, uh, how to exactly make it happen. Uh, and from them, each team, each scrum team, they're very like uh, self-organized, uh, they start delivering it in, in sprints, usually short sprints of two weeks, uh, to have like short feedback loops with the business to show them what we're delivering, if we are on target uh, or not. Um, and uh, we, we try to release uh, in short cycles to see, so the business can see the progress, so if we are aligned, if it's, this is what they mean or not, uh, so we can do quick changes and not to have like long release and then to find out that uh, we missed the target. So uh, yeah. in overall, this is, this is the process. 
<laughs> and kind of in your opinion then, so how has R&D in general helped strengthen Delasport as a company? Well, Delasport is basically the technology company. Our project, our product at the end of the day is, is the technologies that are uh, being developed. Uh, and our main assets beside the, the product, the technology, is the, the talented people that we have. Uh, that's helping you know from design specs develop test release uh, this product um, so i guess it's quite a huge contribution because uh, we, we produce the, the actual uh, product of, of the company and the final question i have for you is if you were to kind of look at the betting gaming industry as a whole what do you think are going to be the top research and development trends kind of as we go through the end of this year and start next year mm -hmm. um well i see basically i think a few major uh, trends uh, i can let's say talk about the main two as i see them so from technology point of view uh, i guess uh, scalability uh, it's something that, you know, uh, the market is growing, there's new channels, uh, uh, there's more, at the end of the day, it's making more traffic, more data, especially for the big players in the industry, as you penetrate new markets, uh, which it's more players at the end of the day. Um, so from technology point of view, it's a big challenge how to handle more data, more traffic and keep the uh, high performance and good service to the players. So a lot of things like migrating to microservices, cloud-based application, Kubernetes and, and Dockers, uh, because the player standard is not decreasing there, it's increasing. Players are less tolerant and if you're not fast enough, if the user experience is not good, the performance is not good, they quickly going to your competitor or somewhere else. Uh, yeah. So you need to handle much more traffic, better performance and always to, to increase it. So this is a big challenge. And from the other side, uh, I think personalization and, and self-service. Uh, this is something that uh, it's no longer one size fits all. It's You need to tailor the yeah. user experience for each of your users. You need to learn them. I mean, learn them, get to know them, and adapt the application for each uh, user. For example, uh, we're dealing with sports, so uh, what uh, sports they like, what leagues, uh, what teams is their favorite, uh, with what time of the day they, this specific user like to, to log in and play, uh, what their preferred channel of communication. Some prefer to be addressed by chat, some by phone, some by uh, pop-up. Um, so at the end of the day is to create something that it's tailored for the user and user appreciate it uh, so they can it's it's something that they feel special that you give them their, this personal touch and they can do things by themselves they don't need to uh, contact uh, and so on so this is also a big challenge from product technology and so on yeah 